the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. And we gather in this blessed church to pray for the soul of the beloved and dedicated servant, Michel Marcus, who God called him to be with him in the place of rest and peace. We pray that is may the Lord to repose his soul in the paradise of joy in the bosom of our Holy Father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And to express our heartfelt condolences also on behalf of His Grace Bishop Abraham and Grace Bishop Suriel and Bishop Kirillus who could not be with us today. Uh, and Abraham is with us and also with all the clergy who are with us and also who could not come uh, to share. And on behalf of all of you, we express our heart, heartfelt condolence to the family that is may the Lord grant them peace and comfort from above. I have known the blessed servant Michel for over 20 years and I have known him as a man of God who loves the church, loves God and loves the service as a dedicated servant who served in, in many uh, kind of service in this blessed church and also at the level of the diocese. I have known him as a man of a uh, loving man, man of integrity and dedication. Also he served as a deacon, served God uh, through uh, the liturgy and through uh, the hymns. And I'm sure that is our Lord Jesus Christ who is our merciful and just God to receive his soul with this joyful voice, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you rule over many things, enter into the joy of your Lord. And today, as we uh, pray for his soul, we also, today is the Passover of Jonah. And as God rescued Jonah, and he used the big fish, the whale, to be a place for him to go to pass from this to life, we are sure that is our Lord Jesus Christ. So is this, as Jonah is a type of the Lord Jesus Christ, that is, to let Michel also to pass from this to life. As God made for Jonah the well as a place of rescue and a safe haven, not a place of death, also the Lord through his death and resurrection, he changed the meaning of this, not to be a place of destruction and the end of life, but to be a bridge from life to life. And in this faith, that is, we find a comfort when we pray for uh, this blessed servant who in the Christian faith, we are sure and confident that is God to grant him to pass from this temporal life for place of rest for eternal life. So as we today, when we remember the Passover of Jonah, we remember the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, because as we always say, that is as Jonah was in the whale, in the big fish, for three days, also the Lord was in the tomb for three days, and as Jonah came alive out of it, the Lord also rose from the dead. So therefore, the church always, in the funeral service, to remind us of the resurrection, because the resurrection is the source of our comfort. This is painful experience because by this mean the end of life. But in our Christian faith, this is not the end of life. It is departure as we pray 
in the uh, litany for the departed, there is no death for your servant by a departure. To depart from this temporal life for eternal life. So as you heard in the reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, from chapter 15 of his first letter, which we call it the chapter of the resurrection, he spoke about the resurrection of Christ and the resurrection of the dead. And there is a link between the two, because the resurrection of Christ is the proof of the resurrection of the dead. And also our belief in the resurrection of the dead is a proof the resurrection and the resurrection of Christ. As St. Paul said, if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. But he assured that saying, but now Christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruit of those who had fallen asleep. So the resurrection of the Lord is the promise for us, for the resurrection too for us, uh, to rise from the dead. Death means the separation of the spirit from the body. The spirit is always alive, never to die. And the spirit after leaving the body, that is all the works of this will reveal to it. And those who lived according to the commandment as a face to be in peace and to be to be in joy. And we call this the time of waiting. They are waiting until the resurrection of the body. And the resurrection of the body will happen at the last day. The last day when there is a general resurrection for all the dead. So therefore, even we will see the body in front of us and we are go going to bury the body, but this is not the end of the body. But as St. Paul also mentioned about the body as a seed, and this seed will change to have the glorified uh, body. So the present body is only a seed of the body to come. And the resurrection of the body is the fulfillment of what God intended for our present body. And as also St. Paul said, it is, it is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, but it is raised in, in power. And also he said, as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. The man of dust is the, this body, the body which we, we bear. And this body is temporal body. But we will receive the glorified body and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is given us the meaning of the glorified body. So in this phase, that is, we pray for the soul of blessed uh, Michel Mokos, and in this phase we find a comfort and we find a peace. May our Lord Jesus Christ to grant his heavenly peace to, for all of us and, and also to give us to be always ready for the day when we be called to be with the Lord, to whom is glory now and forever. Amen.